Are we live? We ready to go? Oh, snap. We running. My bad. Hold on. Uh, you you hear the sip of this water. Not bad. You know, it's been a while, man, so I don't be paying attention to my producer no more. <laughs> you don't be paying attention to anything. <laughs> You know what I did pay attention to? Mm. I paid attention to that Batman movie when we went to go see it. That's what I saw. Dun, dun, Man, dun. welcome back to the Who Online dun. Podcast. Y'all already What's know this is your co-host Woody. If you didn't know me, gotta introduce myself, man. And matter of fact, I'm not gonna even let Keith introduce himself. I'm gonna keep talking over him because I don't want him to say nothing. See, I ain't been in front of the camera in so long that I just, oh man, this feels so good. Like I gotta take up all the shine right now. So man, keep go ahead and introduce yourself, dog. No. <laughs> Not by this key. Yeah, so anyways, man. So <laughs> oh, go ahead, bro. Nah, no, it's the other co-host, the, the least important one. Yeah, right, Keith. man. He's just important, man. He's the, he's the co-host. That's why it's cold, man. But you know, man, we back at it, bro. And it's, I mean it feels good to be back. You know, we miss y'all. We miss doing this for man. the fans. You know what I'm saying? We miss doing it for us. But now we finna get it rolling again, man. And uh but yeah, so we went to go see the new Batman that just came out, man. What we saw what, a couple of days ago? We saw a couple of days ago. We came yep. out the day after it came out? Or I no, thought you saw it the yeah. day after it came I out. I saw no, I saw it the day it came out. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna I'm about to tell y'all how fake of a friend he is. Oh so basically, God. like I went up north, right? I went up north for a few days, and I told this dude, look. I'm only going to be gone for the weekend. Batman came out on that Thursday. It was like, all right, we were supposed to go see it, but we did it because one of the homies couldn't go see it. Right. So I was like, all right, I'm going for the weekend and I'm coming back and then we're going to go see it. This dude went to go see it without me. Right. <laughs> then went to go see it without me. I pull up at his house on Monday or Tuesday to come see it. He's like, oh, yeah, we finna go see Batman. It's all good, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, let's go. And then his brother, Anthony, that was supposed to go see it with us. He was like, "Uh, bro, we already saw Batman. And I'm like, y'all niggas want to go see it without me? Yeah. And, and then it did it, it, it. So we get down to the theater and all that, right? And his pops came with us and all that. So I'm talking with his pops. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go stand with the first timer. You know what I'm saying? He ain't seen it either. And he just looking at me and he's smiling. <laughs> He's thinking like I already seen Batman dog. I'm yeah. like, oh my god. I'm like, these I'm like, they're so fake, but man, but when we went to go see it, that fire that, that, that movie's fire. Yeah. Well, he's forgetting the important information that uh when we went to go see it, you know, niggas ain't trying to get on Twitter and get spoiled. So he was like, fuck it, we might as well go see it. And we don't we don't see it a bunch of more times. That's so my problem. Like, that's why I don't even that's fine. why I don't even be on Twitter like that because it'd be it'd be spoilers on anime, it'd be spoilers yeah. on, you know, all the shows and stuff that I'm watching. So I don't even be on Twitter like that. But bro, I mean this Batman, this was one of the my favorite Batmans. And honestly. I thought I already told you I had watched it. No, you we didn't, bro. You're fake. I'm pretty he, sure I told you. He literally sat up there and pretended like it was his no, first time. I wouldn't have pretended yes, it. He no, did. I wouldn't have. But I had I had to get it out of no, him. I wouldn't have. Bro, I, no, I, I had told you. I, I told you we had already I, seen I, it. I literally, no, he did not. I literally had to force it out of him, like, hey, bro, did y'all go see Batman no, already? No, and he, and it, it was not like, like that. It was like that. Bro. I don't recall. It was, like, it was like, yeah, it was really. I, I, I bet you don't recall. I don't recall. Yeah, okay. Anyway, let's go back to the movie. Fake, man, we talking about the movie. That's what we talking about. We talking about the Batman. We talking about <laughs> the, the Batman. Batman. First of all, it's three hours long. Yeah, yeah, it's three hours long. It's three hours long. But to me, it didn't feel like it didn't feel like it was three hours long. No, it didn't. You know, the second time watching it. It did feel like yeah, it was three yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah, because you've seen it already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bet it did. So yeah, that so when I watched it, you know, for the first time, um, it didn't feel like it didn't feel like three hour movie to me. You know, some movies it feel like it drags on forever. You know what I'm saying? They got like they could do the plot in a much smaller amount of time. But to me, it felt like the entire time it, the action was good, the story was good. Like the thing that. about comic book movies that I like is when it's longer, they have more time to develop. Because it's like how many times have we seen Bruce Wayne's parents die, and how many times have we heard about it? So we get it. Yeah. Right. So you have to you and when you don't want to set tell that story, you have more time to tell the other stories around it. So I like that how they didn't like they kind of fleshed it out. They kind of let it build itself up and it was really good. This was the first time this actor did this Batman, right? Yeah, Robert Patterson. Robert Patterson, yeah. Twilight he's, Edward. He's doing, oh wait, he's on he's in Twilight. He's yeah, in Twilight. He's, he's Edward. I thought he looked familiar, yeah, bro. He's in I thought he looked familiar. See, I don't be knowing yeah, I don't be knowing like all the actors and stuff. Like he knows all actors, actresses' names. Like he <laughs> he good with all that stuff. Celebrities, he know all names, like all that. Like he's, he's a little, little fanboy. Remember names. He's, he's a fanboy. Fan <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a little fanboy. He, Just he, because y'all don't remember doesn't mean I I can't remember. He, he keeps up with all of that stuff and he's supposed to be the numbers guy. I'm going to start calling him the, the fanboy. I'm the everything the fan guy. Boy, the fanboy. I'm the fan everything boy. guy. <laughs> 
watching a superhero movie and all of that stuff. Oh, so uh, first of all, actually, let's talk about Batman doesn't have a superpower. So is Batman considered a superhero yes. or is he just a hero? He's raw as shit. But that's, <laughs> he's just raw. <laughs> that's not what he's I asked. That guy. That's, that's not what I asked. He's that guy. I, did, I, I, I didn't he's ask that you that. Guy. I didn't ask you that. That first of all, see, th- this is my. This it is makes my him problem. more of a superhero because he doesn't have any superpowers. But that makes him bad. not a superhero. It's, yes, and he's he not is. a metahuman. He's not. It doesn't. You don't have to be a metahuman to be a superhero. But yes, you. But I thought the literal definition of superhero is that you have superpowers no 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 no. superheroes is what you do superpowers is what you have <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> that nigga drop bars i ain't gonna even lie i ain't gonna even lie say that again yeah. super super superheroes is what you do superpowers is superpowers what you have, is what you have. Yeah. okay uh, so bruce wayne not all Batman. heroes wear capes on huh? type yeah. of deal uh-huh exactly okay. okay but my opinion this nigga's not a superhero in my opinion <laughs> stop I, it. he's not You're he's not insane. a same he's not a superhero so opinion. iron man's not a superhero no, Iron Man is a superhero. But he doesn't have any superpowers. Yeah, he does have he superpowers. A suit. He can fly. <laughs> he has a suit. His suit flies. Yeah, exactly. He's a part of the suit, though. No, he's not a part of the suit. He's well, inside the suit. So then, okay, well, then that means Batman's not, uh, Superman's not. That's Superman the, is Superman. Yeah, but but also, also I bet, uh, Iron Man has a core, though. You know what I'm saying? That's attached he to took him. His, he took that out. He took that out in Iron Man 3. Well, he was a superhero up until Iron Man 3. <laughs> Oh my god, you're insane! <laughs> you're telling me Batman is not a superhero right now? You know, I'm just, I'm just saying, bro. I, I, I might get a lot of flack. I ain't gonna even cap. But yeah, when insane. you think about the, when you think about the definition, I'm saying when you think about the definition of a superhero, you don't have to have superpowers. <laughs> What well, this is the question that we're going to answer here today and go on the Who Online podcast because I feel like this has been an argument for ages. And what? to me, I so, feel like so if Green, you Lantern, don't, Green Lantern isn't a superhero, then no, Green Lantern is a superhero, it's his right? rank, yeah. But that's it, don't matter. This, that's a rank. Ring turns him into a superhero. That doesn't, that's like <laughs> that's like what that's like saying Peter Parker is not a superhero, he has spider like abilities. That's spider, he's a superhuman, but he's, he's got, a metahuman, he has super strength. He, he you take that, that ring off of Hal Jordan and John Stewart, they're dead. Okay, you they take the shot. spider away from Spider Man, he's a normal human You're taking being. away the superpowers. That's my whole point. But that doesn't make you a super... That Just because you have superpowers doesn't make you a superhuman. Oh, yes, super it does. Hero. Yes, it does. Superhero. So yeah, hero. I mean, yeah, obviously you could be a villain. <laughs> Um, yeah, and over the past twenty years, we've gone we've gone three Spider Mans, and we've always had to start from the beginning. Right, if you really think right. about it. Yeah, so it's like I feel like that's why that's why I think DC's better because they do the animated versions because mm-hmm. then it's just a voice and they can do whatever they right. want to with it, and it's right. not nobody on in front of the screen. Yeah, it's not a limitation. Yeah, so so that's why it's like. It's, it's much better because then you can show different stories. You can show the longer thing. They can you can you can prolong it, you know, and show each person's individual, you know. Right. And I feel like, you know, but part of what what part of that too becomes that unpredictability like you spoke about. Like when we all sat in the theater and watched Infinity War, mm-hmm. when Thor came down and struck this nigga all on the side of the neck, yeah. all that and he, you should have aimed for the head. It's like Snap his fingers and everybody's really gone. Yeah. And literally, it was all quiet. And you heard somebody say, He did it. <laughs> like, yeah. like, he really, like, he, yeah, he really did it. Like you said, that stuff is rare. So when you start going into all of these stories and stuff, and like you said, if people that don't read the comics, if you go and watch those movies, you learn more about, you know, mm-hmm. Spider Man, the other, the other heroes and stuff. Like, Superman has a bunch of different stories, yeah. all that stuff. So you start learning about all of this stuff, and it just provides a level of unpredictability and it makes it so much better instead of retelling the same story over and over again. Like, how many times can you retell the story of Spider Man? Batman like how many times can you retell this like I've seen how many Spider-Mans now six six Spider-Mans because six uh, Spider-Mans or movies you said six Spider-Man movies eight because you had three with Toby three with Tom and then two with Andrew Garfield <laughs> yes and then you're not even counting the uh, Enter the Spider-Verse with Miles Morales yeah, there's gonna be a second one that. soon yeah. and then they're, they're dropping like three more but I like I like no, don't get me wrong all the movies are great and they're, mm-hmm. and they're great for their time it's just like they how many just, times are we gonna see Uncle Ben die yeah they just retelling the same thing over and over again. And I get it. Like a new generation. And I get it. Like you want to like keep going and you know, it's making money. So why stop? Yeah. But you know, if you think about it for, and I'm going back to the Batman, yeah. you know, we've seen the Riddler. He fighting against Riddler. We've seen him fighting against Bane. We've seen him fighting against Joker. Yeah. We've never seen him fight against um, Clayface. 
Yeah. We've never seen him fight against right. Scarecrow. Right. We've never seen him fight against C- Killer Croc on screen. Right. It's like all these different characters that they can go, but they get, they always get stuck at Joker, Riddler, Two Face, Penguin. Now I feel like that's part of that reason is because like they just go on with the most popular, you know, who they, who they know would sell tickets. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For the most part, like and only the real people, who, like the real fans that read the comics and know about that type of stuff, will really go spend money on uh, you know, movie. It was like the conversation that we had with your. You know, when he, y'all was talking about DC versus Marvel and he uh, he thinks Marvel makes better movies. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> does he think Marvel is a better franchise? He, like overall? Yeah, he thinks he thinks so. My dad got a funny thing to say. DC is called Duddy Comics, <laughs> which is, you know, yeah, just insulting. <laughs> Every time we do the Who Online podcast, we do a, what we like to call a cream of the crop. OK, top five, we do top a top five. five. Top five. Yeah, we do a top five. And so this week, man, based off the superhero and and um staying in theme with the Batman coming out and all of that, we're gonna do a top five um hero costumes of all time. Now this hero costume yeah. quick question. It, and you know, and it could be villains too. It can be villains too. Yeah. It can want. it doesn't have to just be in the comics, it could be in any yeah, it can any, be yeah. where we've seen it. It can be in comic books, it could be okay. live action movies, animated series, TV shows. You know, whatever you could think of, man. If it's a top five suit in your opinion, uh, you know, I want you to talk about it. And I also want to hear y'all opinions. Yeah, we want to know what is y'all top five, you know, comic book suits, uh, heroes, villains, movies from whatever. Let us know down below in the comment section. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to start off actually with your brothers, with your brother's top five. Oh, he wanted he wanted to be here. That he loser ass nigga. Yeah, like he, couldn't, he couldn't be here. He wanted to be here. So he was like, hey, man, make sure you take my top five. <laughs> hey. Hey. hey, yo, Anthony, let me ask you a question, man. What's up? Is Batman a superhero? <laughs> no. Thank you. What? Thank you, bro. What? Thank you. Yeah, look, man, if y'all didn't know, this has been another edition of the Who Online podcast. I'm your co host, Woody. I'm your co host, Keith. And we're going to see y'all in the next one. I'm the Batman. Ready? <laughs> really? We I mean, haven't done this in a while. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready too. One, two, three. Peace. <laughs> Wow, the hunters? I would have never guessed that. That's crazy. Their suit is fire to me.